right, Kennedy Artists again for round two. Um, this is a picture I've done for 9-11. Uh, it was done mostly in pastels and pastel pencil. This is before I discovered, you know, the, the acrylics will turn out really good on that. But it's mostly pastel pencils on black construction paper. And of course the background was just smeared in with Kleenex. So that pastel to do the fur, uh, foggy background um, is done with Kleenex instead of giving a nice sharp line to give it some depth. And behind it, I have a forest picture done mostly acrylics. And the background, the, the back light blue of the sky was done with spray paint, a spray blue, and then painted over it. Now, I actually used some black paint and painted a black stripe for the black dark background. This went over with uh, green paint to give it the realistic texture. I call it the layering technique to give it the depth. And that's why the, the girl looks like she's popping 3D out of the picture. It's supposed to look kind of 3D. Let's see, I think that's it for that one. Oh, and I got this. Uh, other picture I done on a piece of masonite. And I used the the glossy masonite as kind of like a scratch board. I paint over it, and then to get the details and the rocks, I just took something sharp and scratched away the paint where I didn't want it to show. That gives it the uh, shadowing. So basically, I started out with just a flat, smooth black surface, and then I put a clear coat so it won't scratch. Over here, we got our aliens and their spacecraft. Eventually, I'm going to do a three dimensional 3D model of this. This is my favorite one. We got the little breathers and the tubes. This will be like a, uh, aliens in our flying saucer. But when I do the model, they're going to crash and part of their cockpit's going to be torn away and you can, and you can see inside of it. Of course, the model's gonna be lit with fiber optics and everything. That's gonna be a Halloween uh, art exhibit. And up here, we got this right here was originally a Halloween costume. There's a pair of stilts, and the stilts were made up of crutches. This this actually existed. It doesn't work anymore. It got ruined in the weather. There was no place to store it, so it sat outside. The rain rusted the legs up and the joints. And the canopy was all styrofoam and that weathered. And these were just um, plexiglass sheeting that was blown out for that shape. And then um, just regular car window tent was pressed on the inside to give it the mirror coating. And um, now this was actually done on uh, black construction paper as well. All the red was colored pencil. All the black was drawn over the colored pencil to define it with a black sharpie and again uh, white gel pens for all the white reflections and then here's some more same don't the same medium pretty much but sunsets this one here was done mostly colored pencil the um, pastel colored pencil and of course the black marker as the eraser to get the dark detailed highlights this was the original one I called the Field of Dreams. Uh, the original one got sold. So all I got is the print of this. Then we got Halo. Pretty much drawn the same way the aliens are drawn. Same medium. Same kind of paper. But the good old Halo. I kind of changed the costume around a little bit because I thought about actually making a 3D uh, costume that a person can actually wear. I haven't gotten around to that. And then this right here is pretty much the same medium as Halo, but with just the lightning, the cracked grounds, the heart. And uh, then of course, we kind of danced around Mr. Dragon here on a piece of scrap carpet. I was practicing with airbrush. This is one of my first airbrush uh, attempts, first airbrush paintings. I had to learn how to you know, focus the, the spray there's a few errors in there, but you can't even see if people still like it. But that's what makes art unique. It's all the little quirks about it. And 
guess, uh, oh, oh, we got one little thing. Well, this is considered art, too. Also fabricate little models out of wood. This is made from um, a sliced cedar log. I sliced it on a table saw and cut the gussets out from a solid board and I just sliced it to get all the different pieces. Now that's got to wrap some uh, ceram wrap over it so it'll actually fly. Eventually it's going to fly. I'll put flaps on it, maybe put an engine on it. But it's still art. It's like a sculpture. And then this is the miniature of that. This is what it's supposed to look like when it's all said and done. Kind of looks like a barn swallow. That thing actually, this little model, tiny paper one, actually flies. Mm, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So it's got great aerodynamics. Well, but, um, I guess that's it for the, for this round. Oh yeah, Mr. Dragon. Forgot Mr. Dragon made a styrofoam. He's carved out with mostly exacto blades. Um, painted with acrylics and it's got a clear uh, polyurethane coating on it to protect the uh, paint job and then give it some shine. I was trying to make it look like porcelain or something. Yeah. This is like my little reactor. This is all made out of wood. So it's like an art sculpture of something I want to build one day. It's going to actually produce power. Probably run a small neighborhood. And you see we got a little cat carvings. It's going to be a cat woman. I got to still make her ears. She's made out of all wood. Tails all pieces of wood. And I carved and then I glued them and then I carved a bunch of a series of arches and glued the series of arches together to create the tail. A lot of work. But you got to sit there and cut with an X-Acto blade. Sand it. It's just painted her stripes on. Still got to paint her eyes and finish her fingers. I gotta cut the fingers out and add some claws. So I was making two. I was making my friend Ginger one because she likes the cat woman. So I made a smaller one. And of course the robots are made out of wood too. You all remember those. Yep, yeah, that's about it. Well, besides this little painting I'm working on now. It's mostly done with spray paint. Just took the background, some blue, some purple, and then some hot pink. Went across that in stripes, a stripe of black. It's misted it around here, some blue and purple. And for the middle, I took some white and, you know, give it a little fade. And then I just took some white paint and just painted a circle. And then some paint to do the lightning. And of course I gotta draw the weeds and everything and the vegetation and maybe a tree, kinda of a branch hanging over here. Or something like that. But it's not done. It's a work in progress. And then last but not least, we can't forget about Mr. Lamp Sculpture. This is a lamps lamp base. it um, lights up and get it to light. Ah, uh, doesn't want to work. Well, I guess the batteries are dead. But it lights up blue. That's all wood. Okay, I guess that's it for this round.